Greetings, Snorks! I have new comic reviews, and as usual, they're sponsored by my own self-published work. Uh, the comic book Red Knight, issues 1 and 2 are still out. Uh, the third issue should be coming out a little late, unfortunately, in uh, the end of December. I will keep you updated. Uh, also, Caprice and Other Stories, my Nevada short horror stories, is available on Lulu. And I'm going to give some love to the other Primal Paper books as well. Uh, the last issue of 41 has come out, and it is great. A uh, fantastic finale to this miniseries. Also, the one-shot Baku by uh, Mike Federale and uh, Drew Moss. Beautiful art. It's a cowboy horror western thingy. Uh, one shot. No big multi-part thing. Oh, uh, highly recommend. Uh, even if, you know, whatever. Uh, even if I hadn't known these guys, I would highly recommend it. It's lots of fun. Now, to the big stuff here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to go to Batwoman. Uh, number three, okay, by J.H. Williams III and W. Hayden Blackman. Now, uh, they're still doing their art, and uh, I think Amy Reader, ha Amy, uh, ha Reader takes over uh, issue five, six, or something like that. Uh, let's see, I just saw the uh, preview of uh, the cover uh, today. I was very excited. Uh, last we met our hero, she was drowning, and she was being attacked by uh, the Weeping Woman. Uh, who's weeping all over her, and, and love this bit here. God, I, I love the placement of imagery and uh, Williams' work. Because, I mean, it just goes all over. And then, you know, it can, like, turn into, you know, standard, you know, block format. He, I, I love how he, 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 he understands all sorts of methods of storytelling, and he blends them so well. Um, now, uh, Agent Chase uh, gives chase and tries to catch her. There's a nice little line about, uh, let's see, her father or something in here later. Uh, for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Agent Chase's father was a superhero. He was kind of, and he also had a bat motif too. Um, so, and their relationship wasn't quite good. So, that does influence her uh, her feelings. By the way, uh, I highly recommend going uh, checking out the old. Uh, uh, chase issues. There was only, I think, seven issues, unfortunately. It was one of those DC books that was canceled before he even had a chance to even find an audience. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, she's, uh, Kate got away, and she's having problems with, um, you know, her sidekick, and, you know, her dad still is a, having a problem. Chase is, uh, interviewing her dad, oh, uh, and, uh, her sidekick, Flamebird, goes out anyway. She goes, fuck you, I'm doing it anyway. Oh, uh, and then of course there's a nice uh, romantic uh, scene at the end. Oh, uh, what a fantastic issue! Uh, I never get tired of this book. This is easily one of my favorite books of the DC reboot. Oh, uh, and uh, side note here, I happen to notice that uh, Batwoman's motorcycle has a name, and it's called the Red Knight One. Are you shitting me? It's called the Red Knight One. Well, uh, I think. And uh, in lieu of that, I should name uh, Uncle Nathan's uh, moving supply van the Batwoman 2000. What do you think? I think so. Uh, this gets five ram chips. I uh, love this series. I Vampire, which has been really good. I don't know if I got a chance to talk about it too much uh, when issue one came out. Uh, now, there was a lot of speculation that this would be awful and shitty and no one cared about it. And a lot of people were saying, oh, it's going to be like Twilight. You know, any vampire thing, obviously, is just like Twilight. Uh, this is from uh, uh, Joshua Hale Fuckwolf and uh, Andrea Sorin Sorrento. Uh, and uh, is this going to be another I zombie or another I don't think so? Uh, so far, out of two issues, I'm really digging this uh, book. Uh, essentially, Andrew is a uh, old, powerful vampire who fell in love and turned Mary into a vampire. But Mary really digs being a vampire more than he does, actually. Uh, uh, Andrew has kind of the angel thing going on, where you know he has, you know, bouts of guilt and frustration, and doesn't you know want to be to totally into it. And she wants to be queen of not only the vampires, but of the whole fucking planet. Uh, now this takes place, unlike uh, American Vampire, this takes place in continuity with superheroes in DC Universe. So she's thinking, you know, this is bullshit. These people in tights are ruling this planet. We are the natural, uh, you know, 
winners of this planet. Uh, nice dialogue. Uh, the art is just really solid and really kind of gray, you know, kind of like rusty uh, coloring to it. Uh, it looks very cool. Uh, definitely a sleeper book. I highly recommend this one. I'm going to give this five ramp chips as well. And uh, moving on. This is an older book. I haven't picked it up yet. Hey, I'm broke. So sue me. Uh, this is Avengers Annual. Does this even have a number? One. You know, an annuals used to come out all the time, and they would eventually build up over time. Like, oh, hey, Annual 20. That's not anymore. Now annuals always seem to be number one. Uh, this is New Avengers Annual. Uh, this is Brian Michael Bendis. And who did the art here? Uh, Delato? And we're getting into that whole bug up Wonder Man's ass about uh, the reboot of the Avengers. He's been, when the Avengers first got back together uh, last year, a couple years ago, uh, he was all against it and even tried to stop them at one point. Um, and we go through uh, this great little dialogue explaining, you know, what his exact uh, problem is. He's uh, and he's going through the history, you know, Ultron, who, well, I guess that was a problem that uh, the Avengers kind of caused. Uh, Scarlet Witch, uh, oops, I guess that was us too. I love this page. You know, uh, I can easily tell one of um, Bendis' favorite books uh, of the Avengers is this old story uh, featuring the Scarlet Witch where, you know, she went insane and she, like, hung all the heroes upside down in some sort of co coma stasis thing. Oh, uh, this was my first issue of Avengers too. So, and I always remembered it. So it's kind of cool to see that uh, Mr. Big Shot also thinks highly of this issue. Oh, uh, I love this shot of that. Oh, okay. And then we go to Civil War, which was that was kind of a big oops on our part. <laughs> and then the Hulk, and you know, it's got a point. I can't believe you know. Yeah, it's the Silver Age, and you know, it's old comic books and stuff like that. But you know. You're putting the Hulk on your team. That wasn't a smart move. And then the Dark Avengers. So, you know, he gets... So what his solution is, he's going to get a group of guys, and they're going to go kick their ass. Yeah, that'll solve everything. Uh, forget about, I don't know, maybe trying to get Les Estrace, like you know, trying to you know go through the government channels and stuff like that, and maybe getting it outlawed, like it was. And I'm sure, I don't know, I guess that's over. So we're not doing that anymore. Uh, Squirrel Girl takes the uh, baby away, uh, and they attack. Uh, I guess they were waiting for the baby to be taken away, so these guys aren't evil evil. Uh, and then we have a huge, long fight. You know, I guess Bendis is, like, approaching this, this constant criticism that he never has action in his books, and he only has people standing around all the time. Uh, a lot of his stuff lately has been action-packed, I have to say. Um, my favorite bit in here, actually, is when uh, uh, Black Widow yells, Captain Ultra? That's Captain Ultra! He's afraid of fire! And then Wolverine responds, well then let's let him on fire! I, I like that art. I, I like that dialogue. He's just always good. And then it continues off, so now i got to figure out this continues in, um, in uh, Avengers Annual, which since I bought this really late, I'm sure Avengers Annual is out now, right? So I gotta go get that. Uh, I'm digging this. This is pretty good. Um, it was a little less story than I expected, uh, which, you know, sometimes you can get with Bendis. He, he really does piece his stuff together over time. Uh, I'm gonna give this four ramp chips, and the art's nice, too. Now, uh, speaking of late books, Fear Itself, issue seven! And... Oh, boy, uh... Let's see. I, I, it's definitely, it's definitely kind of keeping in with a lot of the other Marvel events where everything's build up, build up, build up, and then all fucking shit goes crazy in, in the final issue, and that's what uh, happens here. Uh, everybody's fighting everybody. Oh, uh, and hey, Storm and Cyclops are making out. Okay. Oh, uh, is he in uh, White Witch broken up or something like that? Uh, maybe I should check out. Maybe I should check out this X Men book. Hmm. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, the God of Fear turns into a big serpent. Uh, and uh, let's see, some more fighting. And then Captain America picks up Thor's, Thor's fucking hammer. I love it when he does that. And. Uh, 
Then uh, this huge battle sequence here, where it looks like, hey, Star Trek from, uh, not uh, Star Trek, uh, Starbuck from Battlestar Galactica is joining in the fight. Cool. Um, let's see here. Uh, more fighting. More fighting. That guy dies. More fighting. Stabbing in the head. And he's dead. Oh, uh, and then there's a lot of, there's a lot of epilogue. Matter of fact, there's more epilogue to come. There's a uh, Fear Itself. Issue 7.1.2.3. I think I'm actually going to not pick those up. Uh, I think... Uh, I don't know. I just don't want to go that far. I, uh, I know when to end. And I, I basically have a feeling that a lot of that stuff is going to be set up uh, for more, you know, kookiness to come. Maybe set up for the next crossover that's going to be in six months. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm, it, Unless I'm told I absolutely have to pick them up to understand some shit that happens in here, I'm not going to pick it up. Uh, but don't let my blasé review uh, bother you. Uh, it was a pretty satisfying uh, conclusion. I'm going to give this four RAM chips, and I think I'm going to give the whole miniseries uh, possibly uh, four RAM chips as well. Uh, I think it was a good, solid uh, read. I definitely did uh, prefer uh, picking it up than uh, Flashpoint, and uh, everything I've heard about Flashpoint... And by the way, this is negative stuff and positive stuff uh, from people who loved it. Uh, everything I've heard from Flashpoint, I'm glad I, I picked this up instead. Uh, it may be my last crossover until the next one. I don't know. I'm such a sucker. Anyway, push the button, Lindsay.